so this is just a really quick video to go over the Osmos eDNA sampler and this one is specifically for the field sampling components. So when you open this up you're going to get it zip tied so along here and here there are going to be two zip ties holding it in place so you can just cut those right off and there's three buckles on this side and then two on either end over here. So I've already kind of gone ahead and opened them up and I'll just prop this open so you can take a look. The nice thing about this lid is that it doesn't swing all the way back. It just stays in place, so that's great. Uh, when you take a look inside, you see that there's lots of different parts that are snugly placed, and it's all to protect the different pieces inside. So when you open this up, there's going to be a sign with a styrofoam pack that says this side up, and lots of different components in here. In terms of unpacking, the order that you can use is as follows. There's going to be the silicone that you can use for um, just lining the outside of the o-rings and some paint brushes, so you can take that out. There are some zip ties that are going to be used when we're going to be sending the Osmos back again, so I'm just going to keep these in the lab so they don't go missing in the field or in a car. Uh, the wrench, the outlet hose, and the backpack. So the backpack has a really neat way of taking it out using this red strap over here and by putting one hand underneath. But before we do that, I'm just going to move this out of the way. So this is just going to be a protective cushion for the filters when they're being transported, so nothing's damaged along the way. So again, just lift this, and then one hand underneath the bag, and then just kind of take it side to side, and then straight up. So now you can see all the different pieces a little bit more clearly. These are the filter housings over here, the batteries, the chargers for the batteries, the telescopic scope, and the depth finder. You can use this strap to take out the battery and again just note here that this part of the battery is what inserts into the backpack so it's a little bit sensitive and prone to damage. At all times just make sure that this is protected and not kind of swinging about so you can take those out. The charger for the battery and again uh, we want to put the cords in facing the bottom so they have a bit of a cushion and they're not exposed and possibly get damaged that way. So this is the telescopic swivel, so this is what is going to give the range of motion for the pole that is in the other case. And when you're packing it up, just try to keep these two pieces parallel because it significantly reduces the size and the area that uh, it takes up. You can like move these handles up and down, so again just make, them, make sure that they're pointed down to save a little bit of space. You can take that out, and this is the depth finder. This is the filter housing and inside this is the pre-filter section and this is the final filtration section. Keep each of these in their own individual bags and that way not only is it going to be protecting uh, the filtration system from getting contaminated but it's also going to be a nice way of kind of accounting for if you've already used that pre-filter. You can label it for what site you're going to be using it for and once you've used it you can cross it off or check it off or initial it just to make sure that you know that it's been used. So that's going to make sure you're not going to be possibly cross-contaminating. So there isn't really going to be a point where you're going to have a case that's completely empty of the filter housing. So I'll show you how you can repack it now. So again, you want to make sure that this is oriented downward. Uh, when we're repacking everything, you can just follow this order. So kind of going back in reverse for what we started with. So the wrench can go into its designated spot over here. The charger for the battery. And again, this is the part that we want to keep protected. So you can put it face down in here just like that and then just tuck in the cords in here and again protecting sensitive bits you can just tuck them in the side over here and the next thing we can put away is the batteries so again the battery is going to be like this so you can just tuck it in the loop over here like that and pull it out and then using the strap you can put it down and in this little designated area, you can just put the sensitive bits just in there so then they're nice and protected. And then same thing with the other battery. And then this is the telescopic hole attachment, so this is the swivel. And again, just make sure that these two bits are parallel and the handles are pointing down. depth finder and then now is the time for putting in the backpack okay, so again I'm holding this with the red strap over here and then carefully placing the bottom in so okay, there we go all tucked in 
the outlet holes. So we can just tuck this right in here. The silicone um, and the paintbrushes. And then the last thing would be the zip ties. And then you can put this little styrofoam piece just here to protect the housings. Okay, and there you have it. Now we can just pack this up.